Let's configure Magentrix in 25 minutes or less. So we're first going to start out with this authorization link or the administrative link where you can come and set your username and password. Go ahead and click that. We'll then be brought to the portal where we can set our password. Go ahead and hit submit. Now we'll be able to go ahead and log in with our credentials. Uh, we'll start with the administrative area here. So this is where we will begin the theming exercise. From our quick access, we can access the theme builder. We're gonna need to add a logo. So we'll go ahead and add our logo. I've added them ahead of time here. So here's our fictional company, Shield Tech, and their logo. Also add the Flavicon. So here I've got a Flavicon. Now we need to go through and start adding colors. So uh, this theme has multiple different colors that we can select from. So we can, let's say, want the header white there. Maybe we'll have the text in black. Uh, the primary color looks like it's uh, either this purple or this pink. So we'll just grab the uh, eyedropper and pick a color out of there. Maybe we'll take our second color and we'll select that uh, pink color. There we are. And then we can do things like uh, select from multiple different themes. So maybe if we don't want this flat theme, we want to change this to something where I have the logo in line. I can go ahead and switch that theme up. Then I can decide if I'm going to have a menu that disappears or if I'm going to have a floating menu. So now you'll see the menu stays. Even control the edges of the boxes here. So I can slide this to the left or slide it to the right to get uh, different curvature and I can control the width of the page overall. So I like to go with about 1600 pixels. So we'll go ahead and set that up. And then I can go through again, adjust additional colors or things like that, but we will want to adjust our font. So our font here is a New Times Roman. We are gonna go with an Open Sans font, but you can pick uh, any font that you like from the list. So. Open Sans, there we go. So now we've got a uh, nice configuration. So we'll go ahead and publish this. We could also preview the look of this on uh, desktops, mobile devices like uh, phones and tablets, as well as preview different pages if we wanted to see what this will look like when it's fully published. So we'll see the different, all the different device types. Very good. So now if we go ahead and refresh this, we're gonna have our logo, we're gonna have our Flavicon, and now we can start setting up the partner experience. So in Magentrix, the partner experience is controlled with what we call an app. We've got a partner portal app here, and all we have right now is a deal summary page. So we're now going to configure this to support a full PRM. So the first thing we'll do is head over to our apps, and we'll see that here's our admin portal and our partner portal. So we do have some pre-configured pieces, like we'll need to bring in business plans and uh, uh, we are also going to add, let's say, uh, an MDF request. Uh, maybe we'll go and add some, uh, we'll go with some rewards here that we'll be configuring, and maybe the ability to delegate user administration, also a training, and we'll bring in some events. There's some more that we're going to need to create here. Uh, but we'll drop the events right about there. All right, so we're going to land on the pipeline page and go ahead and hit save. Some of the other content that we will see within a typical partner portal are things like being able to have uh, news or a blog or success stories that you would want to share with your partners. So I'm going to create a new article type where we're going to add some content here. Uh, this article type we will go ahead and simply call uh, partner news. So we'll just call this news and give it a path. Uh, you can have different article lists. We'll call this the PRM news. We'll go ahead and make this active, uh, decide if people can comment. In my configuration, I'm not going to allow people to comment on news, but I will enable version control so we can see any changes that have made and give the option for uh, anyone that subscribes can receive a notification of any time I publish new content. Decide if we want tags. We'll show the author. We're going to keep this inside the portal and not allow them to share it. We won't include a rating or a uh, the ability to log in uh, or required login to be able to see content if it's shared publicly. So now that we have an article type created, we have to determine who's going to be able to see this article. And here's where we'll set our sharing permissions. 
Uh, currently, this is only for internal employees, but we are now going to share it with specific people, and that specific people are going to be anyone with a partner user role, uh, but I could get even more granular for this as well. So we've got one article type here that is our news. Now we're going to create a second one. I think uh, success stories are always a good thing to collect and uh, share with your partner network. So we'll just call this success. Again, we'll have just a general article list. We'll make this uh, active. In this case, I'm going to allow people to comment, but then I'm going to moderate the comments to make sure that uh, uh, only positive feedback is happening within my network. Again, I'll enable version control and I will allow people to subscribe. Uh, I will not disable social media sharing this time and also enable a rating and I could have different rating systems if I wanted to. So we'll go ahead and hit share or hit save. Again, we'll set our sharing permissions for this, not for all employees, but all users provided that they have access to the portal. Fantastic. So now I've created uh, two article types. We'll go ahead and add those into our uh, PRM app configuration. So we'll just keep heading down on the list here. Uh, next is an engagement page. This is the landing page that the partner will see when they log in. Everything here is completely widget driven. So when we create our landing page, we want to make sure that it is uh, uh, something that is personalized to the, the partner themselves. So we'll start, let's say, with a um, with a title for the page. This will be the partner homepage. And we will call it uh, partner home. A couple different layouts to choose from, but we'll go ahead, uh, column with a sidebar. Go ahead and hit save. Now at the very top here, I have the choice of adding a hero banner or a carousel of rotating images, all with their own calls to action. I could add a banner image, but then we'll also add a uh, some personalization on this so we can uh, really kind of connect with partners. We want to be able to tell the better together story that uh, somebody would want to see if they're a member of that partner program. So we'll go ahead and uh, add a welcome message here. Uh, welcome to the Shield. Welcome to Shield Tech. All right, uh, and there we go. Oh no! Uh, all right, copy, and we will drop that in right about there. Okay. Uh, we'll also give them a uh, a welcome message here. And go ahead again and drop that uh, in there. Uh, we'll have the text color be white. We can change this at any time. Couple buttons on there. Maybe one for their pipeline and one to register a deal. We'll go ahead and hit apply. All right, that looks good. Now I can start adding widgets to the page. Maybe I want to add a, uh, a welcome widget. So maybe we'll have one in HTML. We'll go ahead and add that to the page. We'll also now uh, personalize uh, that message. We want to kind of tell the, the better together story for the person and the company. So we'll go ahead and just uh, prepare that message. And uh, oh, let's uh, make sure I've got the right message. So let's go ahead and copy this out of my uh, source that I have over here. And we'll go ahead and paste that in. So now we're going to personalize this to the user and the organization. Now we can add some additional widgets. Uh, maybe when I want to show them a list of collateral, uh, maybe on the right hand side here, we want to show them the progress of their onboarding journey or their optimization journey. Maybe we want to show them some courses as well. And again, we can update this as we go. So we'll go ahead and save this. And now we'll go ahead and share this with uh, that uh, partner user type that uh, we've been talking about. So now we've got some articles, we've got uh, an engagement page, we're going to build a journey a little bit later. Uh, we'll build a rewards program, but we also now need to have an area where we can add uh, uh, content. And in that, in Magentrix, it's called Playbook. Playbook is a content library, so we'll go ahead and create a new one. This will be for uh, resources, so we'll go ahead and create that. Uh, give it a little description if we wanted to for our own knowledge. We're going to disable social sharing on this one. We'll go ahead and save this. Now what we're going to do is uh, add a banner here just so we can also have just a consistent theme throughout the portal. So I could add an image if I wanted to and I could personalize the message 
add some buttons, but uh, now if we go and look, this is what this is going to look like when uh, we get it into the uh, portal. So we're going to have uh, an area where uh, all of our resources can be added, whether they're documents, courses, or posts from the articles that we created. So there we go. Uh, now that we have this, we'll just simply go ahead and uh, copy this uh, snippet. And now we have to create a navigation option that we call a tab. So we'll go ahead to our quick menu here, head over to our tabs and uh, go ahead and create a new one. This will be for uh, resources, but it could be titled anything that you want, whether it's collateral or assets or uh, any type of uh, menu option that you want. So we'll go ahead and simply uh, paste that link that we copied there. We'll add a little tilde here uh, and we'll say that the label is resources. Now we have to pick a tab style. This is that little piece in the top left hand corner here. So we'll go ahead and select from the list or we could add our own. I like to use the little bookmark one, but uh, you can pick whatever you'd like. Decide who's going to be able to see this. So we're going to turn this on for the administrator. We'll turn this on for the partner user and uh, we'll add it to our partner portal app. Now, uh, while we're here, um, what we will also do is uh, we'll go ahead and uh, just want to make sure that I have that in there properly. So we'll just put in resources one and again, make it on for the administrator, on for the partner user. Go ahead and hit next and add it to our partner portal app. Uh, so uh, just for space, I like to take the uh, upcoming events tab and I like to change the name of it. So this gives you the flexibility that you can call it upcoming events or you can just simply call it events and go ahead and hit save. So let's see how our uh, partner portal is rounding out. We can now uh, pop over to here. Uh, we can see our partner portal has uh, some pipeline. It's got some... Uh, training and uh, let's have a look at the training tab here when it comes up because it'll be ready for courses and uh, learning paths. Uh, we've got uh, our rewards. We're probably going to want to structure these in a little bit of a different order here but we've got our banner for the rewards or for the training over in rewards. We haven't created a program yet. Uh, on events uh, we also have uh, events set up ready to go for us to add events like uh, marketing calendars, uh, trade shows, uh, webinars, any kind of digital events that you do. We can have multiple different event categories and we'll build that out. We've got uh, ready to go for MDF requests, ready to go to build some business plans, and uh, we've got our resources here. So let's uh, restructure these into more of a logical fashion. So we'll head over to our apps and then we will open up our partner portal app. Uh, that partner homepage that we, uh, we built uh, let's make sure that comes in and we'll put it at the top followed by the pipeline page. Then we're going to add the resources. We also did uh, create some uh, some news. So we'll add our success stories here. We'll add our uh, news as well. And news we'll put right after resources, then success stories, training, rewards, events, MDF and business plans. Uh, but we could also add things like uh, uh, additional capabilities, whether it's a marketplace or uh, show them their journey, but we'll get to that a little later. And now we're going to land on the partner homepage. So how are we doing on time? We're about 13 uh, and a half minutes in. So now let's go and control the visibility of the tabs because I noticed that we didn't see a number of them. So we're going to go ahead and look at our tab assignments. We'll look at the administrator here. Uh, our current uh, success stories is hidden, so we're going to turn that on. Our partner homepage is hidden. We're going to turn that off because you typically don't see a home page on a uh, um, top navigation menu. Uh, so we're going to be able to allow them to see the page, but they don't have to worry about uh, uh, clicking on home to go back to the initial page. They can just click on the logo. And we'll go ahead and turn this on. So we'll go ahead and save this. Little adjustment here. Uh, turn this on and turn this off and turn this on. Go ahead and hit save. Now we'll also have to do this for the partner user. So the partner user that will be accessing the portal. Let's just go have a look here. Uh, we'll leave cases, campaigns. That's more for a customer interaction. Uh, we've got our, uh, let's say our, um, there we go, our MDF requests. Uh, this is on. Our news, we'll turn that one on. Our partner homepage, we'll turn that one off. Our rewards, we'll turn that on for the partner. 
We'll turn the success stories on for partner and we'll go ahead and hit save. Little quick adjustment here on and off and on again. <clears throat> go ahead and hit save. There we go. So we now have a fully configured partner portal that is ready to go for content. Uh, and now we have our homepage here with all of the additional uh, elements. We've got our pipeline page. We're ready for uh, creating a banner here, um, updating our deal registration form. We've got our resources ready to go for content as well as filters and searching, uh, ready to go for our uh, news capability. And we've got our uh, success stories, our training, our rewards, our events, our business plans, and then the ability to delegate administration. We just have to add some permissions for that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of that uh, deal registration page. So we'll go into our partner management. We'll head over to our deal summary pages. And uh, one is already pre-created, but you can also create as many of these as you would like. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open this summary page. Uh, at the top, we're going to make a little adjustment to the banner there. We're going to take out this uh, heading. We can replace that a little later if we want to. So we'll just go ahead and remove this. I'm going to leave our deal registration button there. We'll go ahead and hit save. And now all of these components are point and click, drag and drop to create. Uh, and this page is being currently shared with the partner user. So that's good. And we could make additional adjustments to the page property, like uh, enable a keyword search as well as allow an export. And maybe we'll want to change the number of summary tiles. So perfect, we've got our page here. Uh, now let's also create a referral link. So we're going to have this referral link tied to a deal registration form. So we'll go and have a look at our uh, forms here. And within the deal registration form, we could then uh, edit this form, configure the layout, have any kind of fields that we would like on this form. So uh, we've got some, uh, let's change this up and we'll say this is the end user contact information, user contact information, information. Uh, and then we could add additional things like, uh, you know, address information or anything else that we want. You can basically have any field that you want on this page. So we're going to go ahead and grab this link here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this link to my clipboard. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a referral link. So we'll head over to our admin portal, head over to our document library, create a new folder. So this will be a publicly shared, public shared links, because that will really apply to your uh, anything that is happening outside the portal. So then we can go ahead and share this. We can share it with uh, all users or certain groups of users. We're going to add the guest user here. This is a non-authenticated user. And then we're also going to add the partner user so everyone can see that form. We'll go ahead and hit done. Uh, now what we'll do is open up this folder and we will go ahead and add a new marketing link. Uh, that marketing link is right in my clipboard that I have here. So we'll go ahead and paste that in. And we'll say this is the referral link. Now this will automatically uh, add the fingerprints necessary uh, for uh, tracking of um, partner generated opportunities that are uh, using first generation IDs of, as opposed to cookies. So now that we can go back to our deal summary page, uh, now we can open this page up. We can now add the referral links to the page. We can go ahead and select the referral link we just created. Perfect. Save and close, and now this referral link will be visible to the user. And again, when they generate it, it will be unique to the user that has uh, created that link. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, continue on. So uh, at this point, we have a uh, configured portal that basically has our uh, landing page. We can go to our pipeline. We can generate our unique referral link. We can go ahead and copy this. And again, whenever that link is shared, it's going to have the uh, first generation IDs uh, added to it automatically uh, whenever somebody navigates to that link. So that gives people the ability to, uh, to generate business, uh, even if they don't fill out a specific form. We've got our resources, we've got our news ready to go, success stories, training, rewards, events, MDF, and we are ready to go for content. And we did that in uh, 19 minutes and 52 seconds. So 
Uh, anyone that says you can't get a portal configured in less than 20 minutes, this is how you do it with Nagentrix, and it's all point and click, drag and drop.